So have you ever had that experience when you are out shooting and uh, you kind of film the things that you want to film for the sequence that you want to make and once you're out there you looking at the footage and it's just amazing the footage is looking so amazing but once you get home and replay the footage that you shot and it's not looking nearly as good as you hoped and you wish that you had done some different movements in the camera to achieve a better cinematic look of your videos so that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to take a look at luma fusion and the post production process and how we can achieve those cinematic effects in post-production which we wish that we shot when we were out filming the sequence but we forgot or it turned out to be really crap so this video is going to be 10 tips and tricks which you can apply to your videos in luma fusion to get a better cinematic video in 2020. So trick number one is if you have a shot which is going from left to right or right to left and you really want to add some spice to that footage because you're not really happy with the way it turned out to be and what you can do is to simply add a roll effect to that clip and it will look a lot better right away. And trick number two is more or less the same as trick number one and this is if you have a clip where you are filming straight forward and walking straight forward or backwards you can simply add a roll effect to this clip as well as well as adding a zoom effect where you at the beginning of the clip are zoomed in and at the end you zoom back to the normal size that will create a better and more cinematic look to your video if you don't want to have that basic moving forward or moving backwards clip in your cinematic video and trick number three is to add some fake manual focus to your clips and use them as a transition. And as you can see here, we have a fake manual focus doing the transition in between these clips. You can also do this at the beginning of some clips to illustrate that you are using manual focus to get the certain object or subject in focus. And trick number four is to use cinematic bars. Using cinematic bars, you can easily achieve a more cinematic look to your video. You can also make the cinematic cinematic bars yourself with the text layer or you can make it with cropping or you can change the aspect of the video to a cinematic look. Personally I like to make the cinematic bar myself within the text layer because I have more control and I can easily choose how big or small I want the cinematic bars to be. And trick number five is to add cinematic pan within post-production. So if you're not doing a proper pan when you're out filming or you wish that you panned a little bit more to create more movement you can easily achieve that in post-production by changing the placement within frame and fit. And trick number six is more or less related to drones and is mostly used when you are filming with your drone as well and that is the vertigo effect. The vertigo effect helps you spice up the drone shot if you have a drone shot which is a little bit longer than a couple of seconds creating that unique look which is kind of it's kind of known and a lot of people are using that but it's a really good trick to spice up your drone footage when you are editing in Luma Fusion as well. And trick number seven is also so drone related and that is to do the opposite of the vertigo effect but to actually zoom in with the drone illustrating that the drone is flying faster than it is and you can also add some slightly movements to the frame within frame and fit as well just scale it and change the placement just a little bit and you will get that tiny sort of shake to your camera as well which can illustrate if done properly that the uh, video is shot from some sort of a chopper or can illustrate that in a pretty pretty close way. Now trick number eight is also the vertigo effect but it's spiced up with a roll. So creating a vertigo effect with a roll to your video really creates that unique kind of FPV look to your drone footage and you can also change the placement and rotation inside of frame and fit to make the drone kind of fly with the environment as well. So that's also a super awesome trick that you can try for your videos. And now moving over to trick number nine and this trick is if you do a lot of of, uh, color grading within uh, Luma Fusion and uh, that is changing the hue. You can adjust the hue to change the primary color of your image so by changing the hue settings you can choose if you want green to be something else and orange to be something else. You can just change the hue and you can see that you can easily create the popular teal and orange and the dark green uh, mood color grading within Luma Fusion. Also by changing the levels on the top you can easily create that faded cinematic look to your video. 
Now moving over to number 10, and number 10 is more of a tip that you can put into your workflow when you're out shooting your videos, and that is to always keep something in the foreground. Whether it's you're filming a person and you have a bokeh effect and things in the background, that person is the foreground. Or if you're gonna film something which is at a distance, you can use the foreground if it's just a rock, if it's just some leaves, if whatever it is, make sure that you always have something in the foreground when you're gonna shoot videos and film something which is further away or if you want to create that super awesome cinematic look to your video. So there you have 10 tips and tricks on how you can make your video better using only LumaFusion if you didn't get those perfect shots when you were out filming your travel video or your sequence, B-roll, whatever you wanted to film outside or inside. And if you didn't get the shots and if it's really hard to do a retake of those clips which you were shooting, this is a simple way of making your videos better when you are editing in LumaFusion. And it's really some super simple ways of editing your video, making it more cinematic. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure to check out that subscribe button if you are interested in supporting this channel and also notifications on and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I see you guys in the next video.